Hey, this is Adam Vansant and Felicia Ludlam. Hope you're doing well. Uh, today we want to talk about 1099s and what can contribute to the delay of these 1099s. Last week, Bobby and I both discussed ETFs and mutual funds. Mutual funds have what's called income reclassification. They can go back on previous years and reclassify this tax classification. Felicia, I know you wanted to talk about some of the dates that this can affect. Yeah, so uh, 1099s usually are reported pretty early in the year. However, with the reclassifications that happen, mutual funds aren't required to do this until mid-March as their deadline. So you may not see an actual reportable, usable 1099 come through until after the middle of March. So it kind of makes it difficult to do your taxes early in the year. Uh, you may see 1099s come across the table, but they're kind of preliminary. Right. Uh, just make sure you check with your CPA, uh, your accountants to do your taxes to make sure that you actually have the correct 1099 to report your taxes on. Um, and it's always, always best to wait until end of March to do that. Yeah, and I know during this time, you know, you're really itching to get that Absolutely. 1099. Absolutely. You want to go ahead and report that. Yeah. And like Felicia said, you know, if you have any questions, please refer back to your CPA or accountant. I hope you have a good day. Thanks.